Hi, I think you know from the title of this video what it's about, so I'll just come out and say it. I wrote a book. This is the book. I wrote a freaking book. I can't believe it. Or actually, it's a novel. It's not a book because it's just paper right now. <laughs> but it's a novel. And it's 99,000 words long, so almost 100,000 words. Yeah, did I say pages? No, 99,000 words long. And it's hella thick. So what is it about? Well, it's a fantasy novel and it's in Swedish. So unfortunately for you uh, American or other non-Swedish people who are watching my videos, you won't get, be able to read it yet. No, but it's my first novel and I'm actually really proud of sticking through and just doing it and writing and writing and oh lord, the words that I have written. <laughs> now, it may not seem like such a big thing for someone who writes books a lot and like Brandon Sanderson who can write a book in like what three four months because he wrote four books in two years or something like that five books i don't really know but this is my first attempt and i am proud of why i've created i started in 2018 with this book and it's based in my fantasy world that i have created that i'm gonna have different stories put throughout and we're gonna get to writing those soon very soon but first i gotta do some other things first because I always want to keep writing. I want to keep pushing my limits and see how fast I can write. And now, let me give you some tips. Three years might seem like a long time, but I haven't constantly been writing. I've been doing other things. For example, the last two years of those three, I was in the military and I did a lot of work there. So I didn't really have time for that. But now I'm at a mindset and a like headspace where I feel like I can actually write because I find, found my rituals. I have I have just generally been able to calm down, sit down and write. And I know this video is a lot of ramble. <laughs> I know this video is a little bit messy, but that's actually because I find this hella crazy that I wrote a novel, like a full on novel. It's 237 A4 pages. It's really long for me <laughs> because it's like the most I have written are or is the most because like the most I have written is like 5,000 words and that's like a chapter. This is this is like a lot. <laughs> so I finished this a few weeks ago. And I've just been sitting and admiring it and looking through it a little bit. I haven't gotten through the editing yet. And that's the one thing, or there's two things I have left. Editing and fixing all the plot holes. So it's not a book yet. And I haven't published it or any, I haven't contacted a publisher yet because I want to make it as good as possible. I haven't talked about me writing a novel so much because I don't want to put that pressure on me to say that I'm writing a novel and then feel the pressure that I need to write now. I just want to be able to write when I want to, to get into the flow. And I feel that it's been working out really, really well. All I had to do, let's say all I had to do was for five years, <laughs> do good things that helps me develop as a character, as a person. I'm talking about myself like a, I'm a fantasy character in my book. <laughs> I need to develop my personal skills and I needed to calm down. I needed to be able to sit down and just avoid all distractions and actually write. And apparently worked because I do have a novel here. It's right here in this binder. It's so thick and I put it in this binder because I didn't have anything else to put it in. So I just it's just crazy and I really really look forward to contacting a publisher and getting it published and all of those things and but, but I don't know how big the fantasy genre in Sweden is we mostly have thriller and like slasher stuff <laughs> and what do, you, what do you call them like detective books 
something like that. We mostly have those. We don't have that much fantasy that I know of. So if a publisher doesn't want to publish my book, at least I will self-publish it and I will put it on my goddamn bookshelf because I want it on my bookshelf. I'm no humble man. I just want my own book in my own bookshelf. So you can, everyone can see it just on display. Like this, but it's mine, but, but it's my book. That would be hella cool. Actually, you know, this is like 350 pages. I think my book, when it's when it's in like in pocket format, will be this thick. Oh yeah, this is pretty. This is a pretty big text. It'll probably be this thick or maybe smaller. Who knows? The fonts and spacing and everything is different depending on what novel it is. But I look forward to that, and I'll keep you posted on the journey when I finish my editing. Again, I don't want to put pressure on it. I just want to. Calm down, stay in the Zen mode and just do my thing and edit it and fix all the grammar because oh boy, I am a person who just writes and then edits later. And I find that that's a pretty good thing to do, but it's also <laughs> annoying when you get to the edit part because I'm not a professional writer. I'm no English or sorry, I'm no Swedish teacher. I'm no academic. I'm just a humble boy trying to write his own fantasy novels and i have 16 more plans so i gotta get going if i want to write what one novel every three years 16 times three yeah luckily i'm 24 so i have the time <laughs> no i promise i'll get faster and faster maybe one day i'll just pump out books every year like stephen king and holy smokes my fantasy world is gonna be filled with stories but then again, that's what I had the fantasy world for, to write stories in. Now someone might ask, what is it about? Well, in short terms, it's about a man, the, the nomad, they call him, who's uh, escaping from something that's hunting him. And it's a pretty dark thing that's hunting him, and he needs to get away from it as far as possible, because it is relentless, I can tell you that. And it's of magical nature, of course, because it's fantasy. And then he meets a lot of people, people he knows, people he doesn't know, and sometimes he helps, sometimes he just doesn't help, and sometimes there are orgies. Because every great fantasy novel needs to have an orgy. So, yeah, I wrote a book at 24 years old. And if you want my tips on how to make a better villain for your story, just click the bo this box right here and you'll get to Watch that video and then throw a like and a comment and subscribe as usual. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh yeah, you're so pretty. I just want you to grow up and find your home in the world. And when you have wings, I want you to fly. Fly far, far away from here. Where the light will shine on you one day. I want you to have everything that I couldn't. Everything. What are you doing here? This video is over. Bye.